Hey, back again. Grappling dads. Talking about micro adjustments. <laughs> so lost in this. <laughs> like, I missed the beginning, so I have no clue what's this going is, on. This is the best thing that could have ever happened for the sport. Oh, God. Um, actually, terrible. we're going we're gonna to have Austin cue it up because he's, he's got the entire breakdown of, of why micro adjustments is the biggest thing in jiu-jitsu since... Uh, I don't know. I don't have <laughs> sense anything. <laughs> I just choked on water. <laughs> Go ahead, Austin. What you got? All right. So micro adjustments. It's hitting the jiu-jitsu world in a frenzy. What, uh, what, so who started this and where did it come from? So a little backstory is a two-stripe white belt started it. On, oh, this on sounds the, like this is a good start. On the BJJ Everything Facebook page, correct? I believe so. That's where I found it. Uh, that's where I found it. That, I saw it all over I, there. Yeah, oh. I just didn't pay any attention to it. It may, it may go ahead. So this is from my Isaiah Aguayo. Aguayo. I don't know his name. Doesn't matter. Tapped a two strike purple belt the other night. Smirky face. Started open, went for a pass to side control, and when he rolled away from it, I took the bat kind of sneaky like. Wasn't intended, but I saw the opportunity. Got hooks and took an immediate but loose seatbelt grip and used the other hand to feint a rear naked as I cinched up the seatbelt. I think being a white belt helps me with this, as upper belts so often seem to expect feints from a nobody white belt. <laughs> when I got the seatbelt tightened up where I wanted, bam! Grabbed the leg and bow and arrow. But naturally, he wasn't going to give in that easy. I had to let the leg go two or three times to make my quote-unquote micro-adjustments on the seatbelt. Oh, no. And a couple more times to get my hooks back in. What? Finally, when I grabbed the leg and extended, I saw the hand getting ready to tap, then relaxed again, and I knew I just had to pay, play the patience game at that point. And after a few seconds, I got the most reluctant tap I've ever gotten. Ha-ha. Praying hands emoji. Something, something, something. His name is No Just Kidding. This never happened. Felt great, though. Fire emoji. What? So it sounds like he's making the whole thing up as a joke. However. It sounds like he tried to cover up himself giving himself props with a joke. Also true. That's more, more what it sounds like. <clears throat> Either way. Also, the purple belt gave you everything if this actually did happen. Fact. Micro adjust my dick. How about that? <laughs> I hate, I don't know if he's kidding, but it's a dumb post. I know what you meant when you just said that, but <clears throat> I don't care. Maybe I could don't ever, say micro and I don't care. I got a wife. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing affects me. Oh, that's totally going on YouTube. Mm -hmm. so, it doesn't affect me anyway. Micro adjustments, quote unquote. Stupid. So this is this has been absolute gold in the jiu jitsu community. Oh, it looks like it lit up. Oh yeah. Oh, it's been fantastic. But, I mean... So what's your take? Do you think he was just like, ha ha, just kidding? No. I don't think so either. No, I've, uh, I've been along uh, long enough to actually hear these conversations. Yes. And, look, lucky, lucky for me, I don't think I had Facebook when I first started Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, yeah, that but, would be a recorded history of douchebaggery. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know that I would have posted that. But I would have thought the same thing if yeah. I tapped out a purple belt. You know what I mean? But because, well, hold on. So back when I first started training, I trained with uh, my buddy Ryan, and he was uh, two or three straight purple belt. Purple, yeah. And super guy took me under his wing. Mm -hmm. But before we kind of became friends, and I understood exactly what jujitsu was, I just didn't. I just didn't know. Like yeah. I, I thought I was legitimately tapping him out. No. So yeah, exactly. But my excuse was, you know, is you know, I was in my. 20s oh so, yeah i mean i get yeah. it and he this guy could be too and it, maybe he was kidding all the way around but it's not really funny no no i don't Anyone, think he meant for it to be funny no I think because he, he tried to, to be... cover it up to be a joke but it's not it's, it's right. not funny and it's way too detailed to be funny i don't like this person i think he's right well, i mean he's, in the he's, fact he's, that i he mean he started the a fact, fire yeah. <laughs> so go ahead I thought this would be funny if it was like us doing this to Croiler or Paul Elliott or someone who's way above our level and we jokingly said this. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I tapped oh, Croiler yeah. last night. So Paul Elliott's watching, correct? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I don't know if he still is. He probably left. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that'd be like me saying, you know, we went to Croiler's uh, open house for his new gym and I rolled with uh, Paul Elliott and uh, we were in a scramble and I got his leg and I got inside Ashigurami and then he went to defend that and I immediately got outside Ashigurami mm -hmm. and I went for the heel hook and he went to spin out but I made a couple micro adjustments <laughs> and I caught it <laughs> like that. I know full well that's never that, gonna happen <laughs> well it 
It kind of did, but he let me do. He was letting. Yeah. He was. He was letting you do stuff. He wanted to see what I was learning. Yeah. And he was having fun. Now that would be like me coming on BJJ Everything and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Look how great where, I am." Where shall I begin? <laughs> Just bad all the way around. Oh, yeah. So I, I think this is a good lesson for everybody in the BJJ community, especially for newer, because if if you were were our, like, I was, mm-hmm. and also have access to social media, mm-hmm. and maybe maybe drinks, you know, does the drunk post and stuff Ooh, like that. Like, drunk post can, hey, this drunk is, post can definitely do it's, it's, a, it's a thing, like, you know. Mm. You're sitting around. You're drinking some whiskey. You're Is watching. This? You're watching Ballers on HBO Max. I, watch, I wouldn't like, know anything about any of these. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to share this to the world. So uh, hashtag micro adjustments. Uh, tapped out a black belt. Ipso facto, should be a black belt. This is good. It really is. I told you. <laughs> I got distracted. Mm-hmm.